All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today, hanging out, doing what I do. I apologize for the lack of videos last week. I hope everybody really enjoyed my super long and boring VaporCon vlog. Uh, it was fun regardless, but it's not about any of that. What it's about right now is this. This is a mech mod. Uh, I should have reviewed it last week. But it didn't. It got bumped back a week just because of my scheduling. This comes from Bay City Bay, Bay City Vapor. Bay City Vapor. Yeah, it's Bay City Vapor. Duh. This is the Assassin Mech Mod. It kind of looks like a hybrid, but it's not a hybrid. It kind of actually works a bit, a little bit like a telescoping mod to take up for battery rattle. It's very, very easy to adjust, but. In order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, we're going to go up close, as we often do, for some uppy closey time. All right, Yeehaw, let's spend a little bit of up close and personal time here with the Assassin Mech Mod. I've got it taken apart to its fullest extent now. This is sort of a beginner starter style mod, so it's going to be really easy to use. It's going to be really easy to put together. This is your contact right here. It's just on a little piece of uh, a little piece of Delrin, and this goes towards the top of your mod, and this comes uh, in and out, so you can you know you can kind of use it you can clean it if you want you can clean up those contacts you can take it in and out of your mod if you want to the easiest way you can see there's a just a just a tube it's literally just a tube where your contact uh, where your contact goes so the easiest way to get this in there I've found you want know, the small point facing up because that's going to touch your atomizer stick it on a battery stick this in the mod okay 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 stick this <laughs> maybe we'll get it started by sticking it in here like this it's a very 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 snug fit but you can use a battery to press it up press it in and now look at that oh fancy fancy now you have a contact up there that's going to touch your atomizer and you have a contact in the bottom so this isn't a hybrid even though it looks like a hybrid it is not 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 a hybrid style mod so battery goes in and there's literally nothing to adjust so i'm going to take an atomizer here let's just grab this one even though it's not built this is the uh, archon from uh from Cloud Chasers Inc. I don't know why my camera's having such a hard time. This is the Archon from Cloud Chasers Inc. A nice protruding 510 pin there, but doesn't matter because there is a contact on the inside. This screws down just like that. And now that has pressed that little connection down ever so slightly. Battery goes in, positive side up, base goes on. Just like that. There's literally nothing else to adjust. You just screw this on, you press the button, and you vape it. If there were a build on here, uh, then I could vape it. What you may need to do in between atomizers is reset that little Delrin thingy in there, in which case all you have to do is take your battery and press it up like that so that it kind of resets itself. So every new atomizer that you put on here, depending on how long the pin is, it will push that little Delrin piece you can feel the resistance. You just push that down just ever so slightly, and you can, uh, that's it. You adjust it just like that. Uh, while we're uppy closey, I wanna talk about this little ring. Now, this little ring is designed to cover up the threads, right? Because you use it as a somewhat of a telescoping mod, so this is gonna cover up some of the threads that might otherwise be showing if it wasn't there. Don't like the way it feels. It's soft on one side, sharp on the other side. I wish it was rounded all the way around. I wish they would have rounded this off instead of leaving it sharp. I can uh, I can scratch my nail against it. I just don't like the way it feels. But yeah, that's the Assassin mod up close and personal. Now I'm going to have to throw a different atomizer on here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to get back out to normal view and we are going to vape it. So yeah, that's the Assassin up close and personal. Now, Bay City Vapor is basically saying this is their entry level 18650 mechanical mod. They said they recommend it to use on atomizers that are above 0.5 ohms of resistance. 
Yes, and that is probably actually pretty crucial. Uh, I've been trying it out, obviously, with a whole range of atomizers. What I have on here now is the Tugboat V2 with the Anarchist Slam Cap. It's working great, except it's about 0.2. And I was wondering, well, why do they say 0.5 ohm resistance? It's because you don't get a hot button issue, you get a hot ring issue, which I know sounds crazy, but do you see this little ring that's attached to the base? Remember we were talking about it in the Epiclosi. It's designed to cover any threads. It's a little bit sharp. If When I use it with this particular build, I feel it get warm against my palm, and it's just the ring that does it. The button, which is black, does not do that. Nowhere else, the battery doesn't get warm, the body doesn't get warm. This ring does, and it's very, very disorienting. I can feel it. I, I can feel it warming up in my hand. So the button's made of a polycarbonate non-conductive material and it's recessed and the contacts I've never seen this before say nickel plated brass which nickel plated brass I'm assuming that's quite conductive the thing hits really really well uh, I don't have a 0.5 ohm build to throw on here yep this ring is warm the buttons not warm the bat I, I test warmth by pressing it against my face only that ring is warm. Oh, the button's a little bit warm, but that ring gets warm and it's just weird. So if you're in the market for a mechanical style mod and you don't own a mechanical style mod, you can pick this one up. Do you gonna need your vape budget hands? I don't know. I don't know, you might need your vape budget hands. Yeah, it's about 49 bucks, about 50 bucks for an authentic made in California uh, mech mod from Bay City Vapor, the Assassin. It's a little, it's a touch wonky. A lot of the Bay City Vapor stuff, in my opinion, is a, is a little bit wonky. Their 26650 mod, a little bit wonky. Their Atomizer, ugh, super wonky. This, still a little bit wonky. I bet if you were rocking this with a 0.5 ohm and above, which I don't have, literally nothing in front of me is gonna be at that resistance. Not even a little. Nothing is built that high. I have nothing I have nothing that's above a 0.2 ohm right now. I don't think. I have a one ohm tank, but I don't know if that's actually even gonna work on here. Let's try it. You know what? Let's try a one ohm tank. I'm gonna reset that little Delrin thing. Don't have a drip tip for some reason. Look at me, look at me being just prepared for life. All right, so that's a one ohm tank. I think this is actually a 1.2 ohm tank. Oh, it's super gurgly. Damn it, tank, you were upside down, weren't you? Wow. Well, it did vape, and the button didn't get hot, and the ring didn't get hot, but... <laughs> 1.2 ohms on a mech mod? No, just don't, just stop it. I just wanted to test it to see if the, uh, <laughs> just wanted to test it to see if that button got hot, which obviously it does not get hot. I don't have anything that's even higher resistance than this, so we'll have to put this back on here. So yeah, it is what it is, and it's the Assassin. It's about 50 bucks if you're gonna build a little bit higher in the 1.0. 1.5 ohm range. No one's gonna build that high. If you're gonna build higher into the 0 0.5 ohm range, then yes, this is absolutely an option for you. If you want a mech mod that you can grow into, that you can eventually get down into the 0 0.2 ohm range, sub-ohm style vaping, this might not be the mech mod for you. Regardless, it's 50 bucks. I'll have a link below in the description, baycityvapor.com. That's what I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and as always, Yeehaw, let's keep on vaping. That's enough. Fuck that. God, it got warm so fast. I hate it. I mean, I don't hate the mod, I just, that hot ring annoys me.